Hey gang, welcome back to part 3 of our build for the 180cc power kit. Um, in this installation, we're going to be installing a uh, 18 pole stator. Now this is a high output, specially wound stator. I imported this from China. I believe I am the only American seller that has these at the moment. Um... If you're interested, uh, just contact me through YouTube or whatever, and or maybe by the time you watch this, my store will be online and published at martinmopeds.com. Uh, this is dmartin95, and if you mention the video, you'll get a 10% discount off the price of this. So anyways, uh, this is really popular. Uh, I can't really, I don't have these in stock that often, so uh, let me warn you ahead of time, it will be hit and miss on whether or not I, I even have them in stock. So, but anyways, uh, oh, and if you're curious, I've never tested the output on one of these yet. I'll be doing that in the upcoming week here or so, week or two. But the manufacturer, the people that uh, wind these things up, told me that they produce about 230 watts at seven or uh, 6,000 RPMs or four I, I I'm sorry I can't recall it's like in between four and 6,000 RPMs it produces 230 watts so anyways let's get on with it shall we okay so I have set the stator on there it would be too difficult to try to hold the camera and mount the stator on there at the same time it just sets on there uh the case right the timing cover this thing that i'm touching right behind the stator it's beveled so you just set the stator on there and it goes right into place and you're gonna have two bolts that go through there they're m8 flange bolts but it's what i'm doing right now is i wanted to point your attention to wire routing now you're gonna have a flywheel right here your flywheel that goes on over top of this and it's going to be turning now as it turns if it's making contact with this it's going to chew it up it, it, with this it's going to chew it up and make a mess inside there and you're going to wind up with not such great results so the whole point of this is to tell you to make sure that your wires are not in contact with your flywheel. So, that's what this is right here. That's going to go in them two holes right there. And that will hold this wire out of your way. But I wanted to point that to your attention. and Or draw your attention to that. And make sure to tell you. Keep your wires out of the way of the flywheel. So... We'll be right back and we'll get started with mounting it down and securing it. Okay, so I ran into a quick little snag. Uh, the original bolt that was in the original stator was not long enough. It was biting, but barely. So I'm using a different one. This is also an M8. This is from a scooter hardware set. Same type of bolt, but it's... I believe it's 25 millimeters long. I'm not exactly sure. I don't have, or actually I do. I've got a, measure, a tape measure right there. One second. All right, so I'm back. Yes, it's a 25 millimeter uh, M8 flange nut, or flange bolt, I'm sorry. But that's what I'm gonna use to secure this uh, stator. The metal core is thicker than the other one. Alright, so I'm just doing the final torque on these. And 25 millimeter uh, M8 flange bolts works, works perfectly for those. So, next up I gotta put the little bracket on there and mount the pickup coil. Or er, the pickup. I don't know exactly what that thing is called. I always call it the pickup. So, 
hope you can see in the video. No, probably not. Just wanted to fill up posts here. Sorry about it being so shaky. But I route the I routed the wire up and then it goes behind this bracket and that bracket will hold it in. And then the pickup coil gets mounted right in there. So that's the next step. So we'll be right back after that's done. Or actually I need to finish my final torque okay all right that's good okay we'll be right back as soon as I get that pickup mounted so I put the pickup coil on there and basically uh, you know you just tighten it on down make sure again that the wire coming from the pickup coil isn't uh, making contact with the flywheel these are eight millimeter uh, bolts but I just had to turn them a lot I don't know what the pitch is on these most of these other uh, the pitch on most every other bolt on this is 1.5 don't matter if it's M12 uh, M6 M8 or just doesn't seem to matter they're all uh, 1.5 but I'm not so sure about those anyways so as you can see everything's out of the way of that flywheel so basically you twist your uh, flywheel around until you see it go down right here I don't know if I'll have the proper lighting but right in there that's where your wood wood rough uh, slot is and you got to make sure that they're lined up because that locks this that keeps this and prevents it from spinning so in order to secure this you put a m12 washer on here and an m12 nut or actually an M12 flange nut. So I've got the washer on there. And I'm going to take just a little dab of thread locker. And apply it on my finger to make sure that it doesn't clob out. You always only need just a little bit of this stuff. Put the cap on okay and then you put your uh, nut on there and tighten her on down okay so here's what I'm doing for right now for right now just to tighten this down I've got an oil strap wrench around the flywheel and then I'm gonna use just a hand socket to tighten this down when I get to the other side and I do uh, the variator and everything, I'll put a breaker bar on one side and hold it and I'll hit each side for just like a one or two second burst to torque them down to specs. Then I'll throw the impact on there and make sure they're properly specced. Or I'll just throw the impact on there, or uh, not the impact, I keep mixing up impact and torque. I'm so sorry, I know it's hard enough following these as it is. But anyways, I'll, I'll show you that later on. But anyways, there's a million ways to tighten this down. You can use a variator tool or whatever you come up with. But for now, I'm just kind of hand tightening this thing to get it tightened down. But this actually does get it pretty good. Okay. So, wow, that didn't really even turn. So, that completes installation of the flywheel and uh, stator. And this is going to be a heck of a motor. This is about the, the only other upgrade I'll be doing to this is the Taiwan CVT kit. Which we'll be getting to in, I don't know, probably part 4 or 5 or 6. But anyways, uh, that's... It, other than, you know, I got to mount the fan on here. 
but I don't believe I actually have one in stock right now, so I'm gonna have to get another another fan. But we'll move on to the piston and uh, cylinder, cylinder next, and we'll be doing in that video. We'll be showing you how to properly, uh, excuse me, properly clock the rings on the pistons and how to properly set everything up. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and besides my jumbled words and stuff, it's very late, I'm tired, and I figured I'd go ahead and get this video out. So, but anyways, that's it folks, ladies and gents, be sure to uh, see me at, uh, or talk to me at uh, martinmopeds.com, 18 pole stator on a 180cc, so what is that, uh... Like <laughs> one pole per every 10 cc's that's cool one pole per every 10 cc that works out pretty good <laughs> anyways i'm late slap happy have a good night and thanks for watching dmart 95 and i am out